Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider Anniversary. We are still in King Midas' palace, um, and looking for the final golden uh, ingot, golden bar, gold bar, whatever. Um, or technically, I suppose, a lead bar. We're also looking for two more secrets. Uh, an artifact and another relic. And, well, we'll see. I kind of have my doubts that both are going to be in this final section here. This final puzzle chamber. But we'll see. The relic might be. I don't know. Maybe I missed the artifact in that first room. Oh boy. Spiky. Quite spiky. There's something up there that might be the lead bar. There's a lever. There is... a crumbling wall. Yep. Sure enough, just casually pull out some very heavy looking stone bricks. No problem. Now... Oh, this definitely looks movable. Several of these do. This looks like there could be... Oh, no. Never mind. No fire. Just spikes this time. You know. Huh. Okay, I don't see a way to climb up from here, so... Presumably... Also... Hi, Ammo. Ammo? Um... Reload? Now Ammo. Okay. Yeah, so th this just leads up. That's close, though. Could this potentially be used to climb up somewhere? Maybe pull this out all the way? It looks like it should be possible to pull that out all the way and then... Maybe reach somewhere? Hmm, there are no ledges. That one over there... I think that's the one we freed up. In fact, that might be an artifact. Kind of looks like one. Maybe that's all that's required, just pulling out this block all the way, using that as a platform. It looks a little bit too high to reach, but maybe. Okay, that just opens that. Seems like a very complicated setup just to open that gate. Why put a gate there in the first place, you know? Well, let's find out if we can push out this wooden crate that has somehow survived the millennia. Well, looking good so far. There has to be a point to this, right? Obviously. I guess I could be pushing for a similar effect without the camera awkwardly trying to get behind me all the time. I'll be damned if I'm... if I can't do it this way. If I can't... manage to run into spikes backwards. I somehow did not. That is very surprising to me. Okay, I made it here, and that is definitely way too high. Okay, never mind. I mean, I thought so. I said so. Still have to try. Maybe it's going to be involved in some other puzzle. Maybe it wasn't a complete waste to drag it all the way out there. Let's see what we're actually supposed to do. So, this is obviously going to massively change the room by making several of these pillars rise. In fact, pretty much all of them, yes. Hmm. You know what? It took some of these a moment. Oh, standing on them makes them lower again. Interesting. Hold on a second. Can I reset the entire thing by pulling the switch again? Well, it does make that one rise again. I was just thinking... That platform there, that pillar, seems to be unrelated to uh, the main puzzle.
But it's right right now it also looks a little bit too tall to be jumped to from that box. But maybe not. Maybe I should give that a try. Can I just safely make it down here? Yes, no problem. It's a little bit lower than than the ledge I'm trying to reach, so maybe. But it did rise last, so in theory. Ah oh no, it's just barely too high. That's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. Can I? Okay, where does the checkpoint put me? I'm sure there is some way to to reset. So far, there really hasn't been. Oh, it's rising now. No, no. Yeah, in fact, I can just do this. Well, unless it doesn't rise while I'm standing on it. Wait, they're all going down now. Okay, never mind. Let's get this into position. I don't know what made them all sink again. Maybe it's just a timed thing. And also, probably standing on one of them will prevent it from rising in the first place if Lara's weight is what makes them sink down again, right? That would make sense. Not that puzzles in this game necessarily always make a lot of sense, but... That's beside the point. Okay, so now they're all rising again. Now we make it down here. Wait on this box. I didn't... That's what I was afraid of. I didn't mean to jump to that, but the game magnetized me to it, as you may have noticed. So, maybe a safer way is to actually put that box here so that I can just jump to it from here. You know, technically I don't need to... I don't need that little socket there. Wait, do they all start sinking? Maybe they just all start sinking after I activate the first one. Hmm. I guess that's a, a possibility. It didn't seem like the like all the other pillars moved when I jumped onto the first one here, but maybe. Anyway, let's just get the relic out of the way. Pretty sure I'm on the right track for that, at least. No, she, she's just... Wow. I mean... <sighs> Normally, the, the game's auto-grab feature is useful, you know, but in this case, or rather, the, the, the way the game makes you... sucks you into, into the right climbing ledges. I mean, there is plenty of time, honestly. I'm going to try and just approach that platform the, the box, rather, from the side. Climb onto that directly. Yeah. Okay. That should still be fine, no problem. Alright. Artifact get. Nice. So that's two out of three secrets. Of course, the final one I expect to be a bit more of an ordeal. More along the lines of that... Uh, the griffin head, whatever thing. Okay, if I could get that checkpoint again, that would be nice. Anyway, wh what are we trying to do here? Uh, we jump onto that platform once it's fully risen. From there to that spike platform, I think. But we then shimmy around onto that ledge, or onto that... I keep saying ledge when I mean, like, slope. From that slope to that platform, from that platform to... That ledge, shimmy across, jump onto that middle platform, jump there, off that slope onto that platform, and then there, and from there to that ledge, over there, and then make it to the other side, and then there is still that ledge. And maybe that's actually the super extra challenge in this room. Maybe the, relics is th the relic is there. No. Oh, what? You have to go around the special way, specific way. I don't know why there is a ledge below there. So far it's been doable. Surprisingly so. Here we climb across like... Oh, that's already retracting. 
Wait. Getting an idea. Yeah, there must be. That must be where the secret is because this is way too easy to do. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. This was one of the two rooms that was available right away. Although arguably the first one gave me a bit more trouble. Can you maybe? Maybe you can actually just jump to this slope from that platform. Because you. It seems unlikely that I would make it all the way to the end of the parkour and then pass where you need to be from that platform onto that slope. We'll see. We will see. There is a little bit, yeah, see, there is a little bit of a, of a ledge, the climbable ledge to the left of that alcove. Okay, this time I'm not gonna waste time here, but still. Uh, no, that's too far. So, obviously you have to make it around somehow. Maybe you can... no. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, the... The platform is already lowering. Oh my god. Camera, please. Um, great. Okay, not sure what happened with the camera there. Snapped into a very not helpful position. Seriously though, make it all the way across here and then there and then all the way over to that ledge. That seems a little bit ins insane. <sighs> we'll see if you can actually... No, wait, I, I think I tried that, right? It just makes... Oh, oh! Maybe that's the trick. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, technically, if you're fast enough, you can actually jump onto this thing before the spikes come out. That's insane, though. Oh, yeah, it's already already sinking. It's not as... Oh, man, I almost made it. Okay. You know what? I think I almost made it there. At least it looked that way. So, yeah. The trick is not to wait until it's all fully extended. <sighs> I mean, that's easier said than done, though. I wonder why some of them take so much longer. Yeah, I almost made it to that one without the spikes being out. If I could actually climb across that rather than shimmy along, that would have saved maybe the, all the time I needed. Honestly, that, that might have been all the time I needed. Also... Yeah, you can actually go even sooner than I thought, even sooner than I did. Oh no, please. Oh, yeah, okay, the spikes are gonna come up. Not sure what the problem there was, I think, well, I don't know. Still not entirely sure why sometimes um, she doesn't grab ledges correctly. I mean, in some situations it makes sense, in particular, particularly awkward scenarios, but in other cases, yeah, I don't know what caused that. Oh, she can't... Wait, what? Oh, weird. Because it was still riding, uh, rising, she couldn't reach that. I think I have to, though. At the very least, I have to... Yeah, no, I, it must be possible to, to, to grab the, uh, the upper ledge of that platform rather than the lower one. Otherwise, it just takes too long. Here, you just do a blind jump and fail. Oh boy. Okay, do a blind jump. Oh wow, what is happening? At first, I thought the pillar was starting to lower as soon as I landed on it. But that does not actually seem to be the case. Um, okay. If she just didn't jump at all, that's not what I meant to do. No. Yes. <sighs> Menuing. Worst part of speedrunning. Okay. 
Uh, well, I'm not sure if that was any faster. Oh, why does she not grab the correct ledge? And then while it's rising, she doesn't grab it at all. That's awful. I don't know if I can even make it at this point. Once again, it's already going down. Nope, and you have to be <laughs> seconds, <laughs> split second before she got impaled. Um, yeah, you have to be a little bit further around than that. It seems like getting onto that platform is the key here, but I'm not entirely sure how to pull that off. Also, I was clearly not holding right, and she still ran right. Oh boy. Please just turn around in time, girl. Okay, there I was not high enough. But that tells me that I was actually pretty fast that time. Just had to make sure that she actually turned around before I tried jumping. Okay, maybe if I jump to that ledge. Yeah, okay. Oh, she actually made it. Come on. <gasps> yes. Unless there is another trick. Man, it's already sinking again. It's so tight. Wow. Actually, yeah, it's already as low as that other time. Um, is there a way to get onto that platform as well? I mean, why why put the spikes there in the first place? Or why make them movable rather than just make them be there right away, right? I mean, they could be... They could just as well be spikes on top of this. But the fact that they only come up after a second, after it's fully risen, tells me that maybe I'm supposed to make it there. Could you maybe jump from here? Onto that, maybe? As it's still rising? And here I thought... I was actually onto it, but the the thing is that the the final platform, the the slope, is actually starting to sink after you hit a, a certain point. It's it doesn't seem entirely time based. It seems to be based on reaching a certain platform. Maybe you are supposed to jump from that platform to that one. The distance isn't that great. It might be. It might work. Nope. Well. How much fun is it to watch me keep trying the same thing over and over, by the way? Oh, my god. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that I can make it within, you know, another handful of attempts here, but obviously there's no telling if I'm even onto the right thing. It's, uh, I literally don't know, my god. Thankfully, resetting is pretty quick. It could be a lot worse. Loading screens taking a lot longer than that. Okay, yep. This seems decent. Nope. Seemed decent until I didn't make it. It, I don't know. It's what, what else can I talk about at this point? It's a little bit unfortunate that the game both requires you to be super fast, be super to to cut all the corners to even make it. At least that's what it looks like. Maybe there is more of a puzzle nature, puzzle component to it than I'm giving it credit for, because it's clearly not all about speed. It's also no, about knowing the taking the correct path, figuring that out. Um, but yeah, cutting corners is definitely part of it, and now I keep messing up this very first jump, that's not great. Anyway, uh, so yeah, the game both requires you to do that, but also, you know, controls are not always really 
quite there. Okay, I made it here again. Oh no, I failed. And somehow that made the things start retracting. I'm not entirely sure what triggered that. Okay. Across here, jump to the very ledge of that. Okay, well, nope. Weird. What causes that? That didn't happen the, that one time I made it. And actually made it to the spike platform in time. And wow, I just completely overjumped that. That's a first. That's never happened before. <sighs> Easy. Nope. That was too far down that that ramp. I mean, I guess I can always start editing things out. Okay, the spikes are already out on that one, but you can't totally make it. Okay, that changes everything and I am the biggest idiot. That should make the difference. That should be all the difference I need. Honestly, screw editing. I'm gonna do it right now. This is gonna be the run. The run, don't say please. Don't press the wrong button randomly, please. Okay, one fluid motion. So far, so good. Jump across here. Climb onto that. Not what I meant to do, but camera reset to behind her after she climbed up. That's always great. You know, it's it's these tiny little things that are usually usually helpful 90% of the time, but then those 10% of the time where you're actually trying to do something else they completely screw with you. Oh well. I'm really not sure why this first, basically the first jump, well the first two, three jumps are giving me so much trouble. Everything else after that kind of falls into place. This is, you know, having to blindly jump onto this, then Okay, she made it to the top of the platform. And then, for some reason, she didn't make that jump this time. It looked like the platform I was standing on, I was jumping from, had started sinking? Maybe something was, was wrong there that time. She didn't jump, just walked off. Yep, yeah, no. That wasn't quite right. Um, no, I should... Didn't jump again. I guess I will... At, at this point I'm... I must have done some editing. It was just not enjoyable for anyone. Um, wow, holy crap. I'm not even particularly annoyed or anything, it's just, you know. <sighs> A certain amount of resignation, because I know that, you know, the controls are a little bit awkward like this. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Because there are so many little... Oh yeah, that's what I want. Hey, nice. Um, there are so many little... Uh, automated help features built into this, you know? It's just that in these very tight situations, these extremely tight platforming sections, they often hurt more than they help. That's, and it's really unfortunate that that's the case, but 
Oh well. Athenian owl figure, figurine. Athenian owl figurine. Sacred bird of the goddess Athena. Owls were associated with her characteristic trait of wisdom. Indeed. And that's that. That's all the secrets. Actually, all the secrets. In this case, it was not so much about finding them, but about reaching them. And, uh... Well, I mean, between the game's somewhat, sometimes awkward controls and my not particularly dexterousness, I definitely prefer the ones that are more hidden than, you know, hard to reach. Just kill it? Okay. Uh, I suppose it... I mean, it wouldn't make sense if, if using these... Uh, using this super... these super guns didn't use less ammo than the normal pistols, but it still feels like I'm using way too many shots for this being a weapon with limited ammo, you know. Guess I'm gonna be back to collecting more ammo for that one for the time being. Alright, final lap bar. Well, I mean... Right. Almost keep forgetting to pick up the thing every single time. All right. Yeah, anyway, um, assuming that the, the end of the level is coming up here, I guess this was significantly shorter than... Oh, the end of the level is right here, in fact. I was not expecting that. Huh. I'm... Hmm. Well, looking back, I would have split this up differently, needless to say. Especially if I'm going to do editing, because, like, half of this episode easily was just trying to reach that relic. I mean, it's... It's how it is. It's the way it happened. Well, we did unlock some things, so maybe I should just look at those. Look at the outfit that we got. Maybe that's something I can do. Uh, hold on a second, though. Okay. Uh, here we are back again. So I'm just going to quit out. That's fine. And we'll take a look at the uh, things. Art galleries. Hmm. Not sure when this was unlocked. Maybe this must must have been unlocked for beating this level just now, right? Did it say art galleries? I don't even remember. I know it said outfit, and I was really excited about that. Oh, that's... All the gallery we get. Okay. Game gallery? Oh. Yeah, these must be... These are clearly the enemies from the first game. Uh, look at that T-Rex. Glorious. <laughs> All of these enemies. Well, it's spoilers, I guess. Hmm. Maybe a little bit unfortunate to show some of these enemy models this early on in the game. Oh, nice. Yeah, this first room with the pillars. Honestly, it looks so much so much more well, basic than I remembered. Mm -hmm, this room, yep. Not quite as impressive, although I guess back in the day it was impressive enough. Oh, yeah. Floating, big floating swords, they looked so awkward back then. I mean, it's still kind of an awkward thing as a trap contraption. Uh, okay, this is the Colosseum. I guess there was a uh, kind of arena fight in there, even in the original. This is the Midas room. Too bad they didn't show off her turning into gold in the original. That would have been nice. <laughs> and this room is completely unrecognizable. As is this one pretty much. Was this? Did this also involve the pillars rising, or was this just a an awkward platforming thing across? Pillars surrounded by spikes. Who knows? Then this room. Hmm, again, I don't know if that if that one changed too. Oh, and this is spoilers, I guess, for whatever is coming up ahead. Yep, that too. Okay, cool. Interesting that you unlock this before even having played all the levels. Huh. All the sub levels. Yeah, this one. I'm I'm not sure if this if this room's uh, changed its layout in the original. Maybe. Who's kid? 
But we don't even know that person. What's up? Or that one. What's going on here? Are those bosses we're about to fight? Hmm. Golden. Oh, that actually makes sense. Also, Craft, craft Manor Sport. I don't know when I unlocked that. I certainly... I'm 99% sure I did not unlock this for fully completing Croft Manor, even though it would make sense to unlock it that way. <laughs> Golden Lara. I mean, it's kind of funny, I guess? Huh. I also wonder if you only unlock that by actually turning into gold at one point. Maybe. Maybe you get this for actually doing that kind of easter egg thing, even though it's not acknowledged when you do it at all. And this is for getting all the relics and or artifacts the regular way. Huh. Well, it looks neat. This is more gimmicky, of course. We'll see. Maybe I'll give that a try at some point. Or maybe I'm, if I'm going to do more um, speedruns, more uh, time trials off-camera, I'm going to play around with those. Yeah, anyway, um, I guess I artificially bloated the length of the episode enough at this point. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it as is. I mean, there's really no better way to to do it. I mean, I could go back and edit out the my outros and intros and re-record some and then piece the entire episode or you know, yeah, piece the level together, making a cut in a different spot, but no, no matter no matter what, it would be extremely awkward. It's the way it is. The first episode, the previous episode is a bit longer, this one's a bit shorter. That's okay. Um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.